Hi everyone, I'm Susan, and today I'm opening up about something deeply personal, my grief story. Just last month, I lost my eldest sister, my best friend. I was by her side until the very end, and it was me who had to make the decision to take her off life support. It's a loss that shook me to my core. Coping with this while managing my lupus made me feel like life had been drained from me, but I want to share my journey with you because I know I'm not alone in this. Grief is a heavy burden, and I want to talk about the reality of it, how to navigate the pain, and how I'm learning to survive. I'll be honest with you, those early days were hard. I missed taking my lupus medication, I forgot to eat, and some days I just felt like I was on autopilot, barely functioning. If you're dealing with grief while also managing a chronic illness, it's incredibly challenging because both your mind and body are drained. It's like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, and you're expected to carry it while already feeling weak. But here's what I've learned. You can't pour from an empty cup. You have to remind yourself to take care of your health, even when you don't want to. Start small. Set alarms for your medications. Ask a friend or family member to check in, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Grief doesn't follow a straight line. There are stages we hear about, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance, but it doesn't mean we go through them one by one. I felt everything all at once. The shock, the anger at losing her, the sadness, the guilt of making that decision, and finally, the slow acceptance that she's gone. Denial. In those first moments, I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. It felt unreal, like I would wake up and she'd still be here. Anger. I found myself angry at the situation, at the disease that took her away, and even at myself for not being able to save her. Bargaining. I kept thinking, if only I had done more. Or what if I had made a different decision? But that thinking only made things harder. Depression. This one hits the hardest. Some days, it felt like the grief would swallow me whole, like I couldn't find my way out of the sadness. Acceptance. And then there are days where I feel some peace knowing she's no longer in pain. But even in acceptance, it's still hard. Grief doesn't have a timeline. You might go back and forth between these stages, and that's okay. Coping with loss isn't something that can be fixed overnight, but here are a few things that have helped me along the way. Feel your emotions. Don't bottle them up. If you need to cry, cry. If you're angry, let yourself feel that anger. Grief demands to be felt. Take it one day at a time. Some days will feel like too much and that's okay. Focus on making it through the day, the hour, or even the next minute. Lean on your support system. I've been blessed with family and friends who've been there for me. Don't be afraid to reach out to the people who love you. Remember your loved one in your own way. I keep my sister's memory alive by talking about her, looking at old photos and honoring her in little ways. During this time, my faith has been a source of strength for me. One verse that has brought me comfort is, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34 verse 18. This verse reminds me that even in my lowest moments, I am not alone. God sees my pain and He is with me, holding me up when I feel like I can't carry on. Grief is a journey. There's no right or wrong way to go through it. I'm still in the middle of mine and I have good days and bad days, but I've learned that it's okay to feel what I feel and it's okay to give myself grace as I heal. If you're walking this path too, just know that you're not alone. Together, we'll get through this, one day at a time. Thank you for listening to my story and I hope it brings some comfort to those who need it. Stay strong and remember that there's always hope even in the darkest times. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on coping with life's challenges. Stay connected with me as I continue to share my journey. God bless.